Hey there everybody, my name is Keno and welcome back to our Butte Bandits expansion franchise mode series here on the channel. Now there's a lot of things to take away from that last video, going through the first two rounds of the playoffs, having some rocky goaltending, but one thing I didn't mention that I didn't honestly know, or notice, I mean, until the end of the video and I'd already stopped recording, was that Hrabble, as rocky as he was through his three games played, had a 5-0 shutout in that final game there, Game 7 against the Blackhawks, to send them home. Okay? That's very good news. That's very good news, but still, I, as good as he did, I think it's time to make a move, okay? I think it's time to go back to Gustafson. Gustafson has been really freaking rocky, but he is normally a solid goaltender in the playoffs. Probably just got a shutout. I should go to him. It's, it's coach voodoo here. I think Gustafson will be able to shut the door here. I think he's got his game back. I also wanna make a few line changes because I don't know. I, I don't mind double shifting Allison, Appleby, and Shabrikov, especially for that fourth line, but I'm not sure about some of these other players. I mean, Krebs has only played six games in these playoffs here. He's got five points and a minus one. That's not too bad. He's doing good. Pruka with seven points in 14 games is not good. That's not good. So I want to do Krebs, Dubois, Coleman on that third line. Actually, you know what? I want to do Krebs, Dubois, Shabrikov, and then Ellison, Appleby, Coleman on that fourth line. Coleman hasn't done too bad, three points in seven games. And then Dubois, also 14 points in 14 games is hella, hella impressive for the guy that I was looking to move on from. But you know what? I think this forward court, we just got to give him a little space. We got to give him a little time to drive the, the wins home, okay? We're going into the conference finals here. Yes, we barely made it, but we did make it. Let's hope that we can shut the door. Again, I do want to make more lunches, especially on the defensive core, because Simon Evanson's dropped to an 83, okay? He's not very happy with his lack of ice time, and I mean, I wouldn't be either when you're playing 13 minutes a night, or just under 14 minutes a night. So my idea is just as simple as this. Miller and Pelika on that third pair, even though it's a uh, minus one in their um, chemistry, Pelika played all season with the minus one, and Keandre Miller would just get dropped down to an 86 overall. That's not, that's not a big loss. And then we'll have them as the starting pair with Evanson and Pesci on the second line. And we're not gonna touch uh, Gerard and Benning because they're doing good. Uh, 13 points in 14 games for Benning, even though, uh, you know what, I'm now, I'm now noticing their minuses. They're not good. They're not good, they're not getting that starting line. Ooh, and they can't go like that. We'd have to do Evans and Benning on the top pair, Gerard and Pesci on the second pair. And you know what, Gerard and Pesci have had some good chemistry in the past, so maybe that'll work out better. But you know, I'm going to make some line changes because I want more defense out of my players. And even though Benning is a minus six and he's still got to play, he's got to play at that top pair unless he takes the minus one. And he, after the season he had, I, I don't feel right giving him the minus one. Okay, I don't feel right knocking him down to third pair of minutes. But I think we're ready to go here. These simple changes have been made. We have a big offseason ahead of us after this playoff series is done. Hopefully... We'll go through this playoff series and then the next, the, the Stanley Cup Finals in the next one, but I can't be certain. With how rocky the goaltending is, that might just be the, the Achilles heel for us. But let's see. We've taken a look at the Anaheim Ducks lineups in the last video. We know that they have a really powerful top six, but a few players have been a little lackluster for them. Don't be surprised if they wake up here. Don't be surprised if you, you see Leo Carlson notching some points or if you see Troy Terry starting to put up goals or even like players like Max Jones starting to go crazy. I think we're in for a hell of a show here against the Ducks because we have a weird voodoo on this channel where when a team struggles in the regular season and we face them in the playoffs, they just obliterate us. You, you can check the Montreal Canadiens series. You can check the Toronto Maple Leafs series. Both of them are listed on the channel under playlist. This is shameless, shameless self plug. We go up against teams that have rough uh, regular seasons and then they dominate us in the playoffs. Let's hope that doesn't happen this time. We're going up against the Anaheim Ducks here. Conference finals, our second straight year making it to the conference finals. Hopefully something changes this time. First period. And a good start to this game. Shabrikov and Appleby get goals within the first 10 minutes. And then just a minute later after Appleby's goal, Troy Terry of all people gets it within one for the Ducks. Shots are 14 to 12 for your Butte Bandits. And we currently have a one goal lead heading into the second period here. Second period. Okay, Troy Terry with the power play goal early into that second period ties it up for the Ducks. But then Dominic Pruka puts us up again, three to two going into this third period. And you know what, I gotta say, that second line has all contributed. 
Paprika, Appleby, Shabrika. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We have a four shot lead, 24 to 20, going into this third period. And let's see, we're gonna slow sim this one. Hopefully we can hold the lead. We have a power play early. Now the Ducks have a power play. Hopefully we kill it. It was a long one and we do kill it off. So may it may be a low scoring third period, but uh, maybe I just jinxed us another power play opportunity for your bandits, but it's killed off and then Leno ties it up for the Ducks. They get a quick power play right after that. Now we do it, everyone's throwing fists apparently. And then Leo Carlson of all people with the power play goal takes it. Oh, oh and then Caden Cyphers with the empty netter. Okay, and the Ducks with goals and two goals in the last three minutes take the lead and win this game five to three. What an unfortunate ending to this game. Jeez. And the goaltending was doing good. The goaltending was doing good, but a five goal game is not good. Five goal game is not good. I, I'm tempted to put Harbaugh in net but I have a feeling we'll rebound here. We did do some line changes. Teams are a little rocky after we do line changes. I'm gonna keep it the same. You, you might be screaming at me, but I'm gonna keep it the same. We're going into the game two of the conference finals here at the Butte Whole Foods Center. Let's see how we do. First period. Okay, Troy Terry of all people. Man, I said, keep an eye out for uh, Carlson and Terry and look at what they did. Look at what they did. So Terry opens the scoring here a minute into the game and then Barrett Hayton ties it up 1-1. I want to see more from Hayton. I want to see more goals from Barrett Hayton. So hopefully he'll he'll wake up too. Shots are 13 to 11 for your beat bandits. The score is currently one apiece. Second period. Okay, and that's the end of Gustafson uh, in this playoffs uh, altogether. Maxwell Ellison gets us tied up, but or gets us up by one, but then Olin Zellweger gets a power play goal to tie it up, and then Caden Cyphers and Leo Carlson add to the Ducks score, making it 4-2. Shots are 31 to 22, so they really poured it on there, and they converted on their opportunities, and that's just unfortunate. We're going into the third period here. Hopefully, we can get some scoring done and tie it up, but it all depends on Gustafson. We do get a goal from Peyton Krebs now on that third line. He gets us within one. It all depends on Gustafson if he can keep that damn door closed, because he needs to. He absolutely needs to. Under 10 minutes to go now. We're burning through time. We gotta get within, we gotta get one more. We gotta get one more. Under two, three minutes to go now. Can we get it? Can we get it? We do not. And the Ducks take a two nothing series lead, headed back to Anaheim. And that is just God awful for us. Uh, as I said, Gustafson's done. Okay, he hasn't stopped a damn puck. He can't even stop a beach ball in my opinion right now. He is now an 884 somehow. I don't know how he went up. Um, but he's not doing it for us. We're going back to Michael Krabbel. He's the only of the three goaltenders that we played this playoffs that has a shutout. I don't think we need to make any more line changes. If we lose this one, maybe I'll put the lines through blunder. I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not feeling too hopeful anymore. If we lose this one, it's, it's, it's done for us. I don't think we're going to come back and do a reverse sweep. We're in Anaheim here at the Honda center for game three. Let's bounce back. Let's bounce back. I, I, I want to be hopeful. I want to be hopeful guys. Give me some hope. First, I didn't even get to say it. The Ducks take a one nothing lead uh, from a goal by Caden Cyphers, less than a minute into the first period. Let's go first period. And we do tie it up, a goal by Mike Benning with just, on, just over a minute after Caden Cyphers' original goal. It is now 1-1, shots 14 to nine for the Anaheim Ducks. Hopefully Horrible can be, can be solid for us. Hopefully Horrible can be solid. Second period. Hey, that's that's pretty solid. Nobody scored in that second frame. Shots are 21 to 16 for the Ducks. And we're going into the third period here, hoping to get at least one goal. And we do, Barrett Hayden, 30 seconds into the period, gives us a one nothing or a one goal lead. We kill off an Anaheim Ducks power play. And then the Ducks score, and it's Leo Carlson, and then Zegra. Oh my gosh, they get quick goals so fast. Two goals in 40 seconds for the Ducks. We get a power play, but they kill it off. They're running away in the shot lead too, so Benning's off that top pair. I don't care. He might have gotten a goal, but there's something going wrong defensively for us. And we drop three straight games to the Anaheim Ducks. We're on the verge of elimination in Anaheim at the Honda Center for game four, and I'm gonna make some line changes. I'll be right back with you. Okay, lines went through a bit of a blender here. It's Krebs, Dubois, Besser on that top line. Pruka, Hayden, Appleby on that second line. Maybe we'll actually do this. Yeah, we'll do that because it gives a plus one. So Pruka, Appleby, Hayden on that second line. Ellison, Appleby, Shabrikov on the third line, and then Ellison, Coleman, and Shabrikov on that fourth line as well. Maybe we'll get some scoring. I actually might, um, uh, you know what, what we'll do? 
is we will pull uh, Noah Cates out from the depth. We'll put him on that fourth line. Ellison Cates, Shabrikov on that fourth line there. Defensively, it's Gerard Pelika, Evanson Pesci, and Miller Benning. That's the best thing that I can think to do. And then goaltending, we are going back to the rookie netminder, Trey Augustine. I think Hail Mary. It's a Hail Mary throw here. That's all I can think of to do is to put Augustine back in net. He did good for us. He was solid for us. We need him now. Do or die. Game four. If we win this, we go back to the Butte Whole Foods Center, hoping to bounce back. The Ottawa Senators are also on the verge of elimination, so we might see two uh, series sweeps, or we might fight back. But either way, if we do win this one, we're going three straight rounds of seven games played. I don't think we're going to win this one, guys. I don't feel it. I, You know that feeling when it's like, oh yeah, we're, we're coasting, and then when you lose, it's kind of like a holy crap, it's a, a gut blow? It's not going to be a gut blow if we lose this one. It's going to suck, and we're definitely going to make some off-season changes if we do lose this one. But we got this. I mean, last year, after we lost in the conference finals to the Vegas Golden Knights, we sent out Brandon Montour. We still made it back to the uh, conference finals. Maybe we can rework that magic, make another big big blockbuster trade, add a big key piece, and see if we can go back to the conference finals or yeah, hopefully the Stanley Cup finals. But let's see. It all starts here. Game four at the Honda Center in Anaheim. We got to win here. It's do or die. First period. Pavel Minchikov gets a goal on Trey Augustine. Four minutes, just under four minutes into the game. Shots are 13 to 12 for your Butte Bandits. So for once, we're actually leading in the shot department after the first period, and that's a good sign. But we still trail by one. Second period. That's what I was talking about, guys. That's it. That's it. We're out. McTavish gets a goal here. Nathan Gaucher gets another. Uh, Shabrikov gets us on the board finally, and then Pavel Minchikov with his second of the game puts them up by three, making the score four to one. We're out shooting them, but Augustine's not stopping anything. None of our goalies know how to stop anything. I don't know. I don't get why they can't stop a single freaking shot. They can't stop anything. They can't stop anything. We're putting up shots now. We're putting up competition, and our team can't do anything. Third period, we're gonna slow sim this one, but there's really no point. This team's not bouncing back. Uh, we got a power play here, five on three, five on four. We don't even convert on it, so that's great. We're running away with the shots. They get a power play, and we, they, we kill it off. We get a power play, they kill it off. Under 10 minutes now, no shots are going past uh, Lucas Dostal. We went up against a hot goaltender. That's that's plainly it. That's plainly it. We had no goaltender, and we went up against a hot goaltender. That's it. That's done. Done. Butte Bandits are done. We're, th this team is going through a major change, because I'm sick of this. This team has pissed me off every single season every single season last season was the only outlier because somehow we made it to the conference finals i don't know why i thought we could do for better this time it was two series sweeps as the rangers sweep the descends and the ducks sweep us but oh my gosh this is so freaking frustrating we're gonna have some major off-season changes major off-season changes if you guys have any ideas of what we need to do you let me know there's gonna be some big names gone this is not gonna be the same team next season this is not going to be the same team. Is Brock Besser going to come back? I don't even know. I don't even know. He needs a new contract, but I don't, I don't, I, this is, this is such a disappointment to me. This team can't do anything. Am I going to trade away Gustafson, Harabal, or Augustine? One of them is gone. One of them is 100% gone. We have Eric Olsen in the minors. We have Rousseau hopefully coming up. One of these three is Gonzo Alonso. Not going to be with the team next season. I'm too angry to keep them here. Some of these players are going to be gone. Is it Pesci? Is it Besser? Is it Gerard? Somebody's going to be gone from here. We're going to probably take a step back, probably not make it to the conference finals next year, but I couldn't care less. I really, I, I couldn't care less. This team just sucks. Just plain and simple. I don't know how we, we did as good in the regular season and, and, and struggled as much as we did in the net, and then we get to the playoffs and there was nothing there. Nothing there. No gas, no fuel. I'm done ranting. I'm, I'm too angry to keep going here. Um, I'm not even going to go through the offseason. There's no point. Well, we're we're going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you got any suggestions on what we should do, who, we sh who should stay, who should go, you guys let me know. I'm willing to do anything. That's the end of this one, though. Thank you guys so much for, for joining me. This has been a blast. No, it hasn't. No, I'm not going to lie. This has not been a blast. I think this is the only series where this has not been a blast. Because this team is not a blast. This team just angers me so damn much. And even if we had beat the Ducks, look, the Rangers beat the, the, the Sens in four, and they beat them 6-3 that game. This is going to be a great... Uh, Stanley Cup Finals between the these uh, Rangers and the Ducks. I wish we could be a part of it. 
I, I, I might, I, you know what, I, I, if, if this were real, I'd be going to, to the Anaheim Ducks games. I'd be rooting for them because they just destroyed my team and they're definitely a better team. I'm, I'm getting too angry with this. I don't know why. This is just a video game. It's just a video game. This is just a video game, guys. It's a video game. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys as we take this team through the draft and the re-sign phase in the next one. And yes, there will be some big changes. I'm, I'm, I'm done waiting for this team to, to get their act together. I'm done.